Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss few formulas. These are very, very easy to understand. But please watch our previous classes discussion about connectives. It is very important to understand this class. So the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, let's take a proposition. If you take this proposition, P implies Q. You take any proposition is in the form of P implies Q. Then this P implies Q, then Q implies P is called as converse to P implies Q. So Q implies P is the converse of P implies Q. Similarly, negation P implies negation Q is called the inverse of the P implies Q. Similarly, negation Q implies negation P is called the contrapositive for the P implies Q. So, it is very simple to understand. This is what the equations you need to understand. Now, we, we take an example and understand how we write the converse, inverse and contrapositive for a given P implies Q equation. If it is raining, then the US team will not win. If it is raining, then the US team will not win. This is the statement that has given. So, in this statement, P is given as it is raining. Q is given as the US team will not win. So, this statement is in the form of P implies Q. What is the converse to this statement? Q implies P. Q implies P means the US team will not win. If the US team does not win, then it will rain then it will rain. That is what the converse to this statement. If you want to write the inverse to this statement, negation P implies negation Q. If it is not raining, negation P, then the US team will win because Q is will not win. Negation P means will win. This is what the we call it as inverse to P implies Q. So the next one is contrapositive. Contrapositive means negation Q implies negation P. If the US team will win, then it will not rain. That is what the inverse contrapositive for the P implies Q. So these are very simple. Next coming to the duality law. Let us take any two propositions. X and X star are two propositions. When we are going to say that X and X star are dual to each other, so, so, when we are going to say that x is dual to x star, then uh -huh, when we are going to say is, if, let us take x proposition, if we obtain x star one other by changing, so in the x, if you change conjunction to disjunction, disjunction to conjunction, true to false, false to true, if you do that, Whatever the equation you obtain, that should be equal to x star. Then we say that uh, these two equations are dual to each other. With example, you are going to understand. Let us take an example, dual of P conjunction Q, disjunction true. What is the dual for this? Whenever there is conjunction, write disjunction. Whenever there is disjunction, write conjunction. Whenever there is true, write false. This is the dual to this e proposition. This is how we write the dual for the pro proposition. Hope you understand these simple equations. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.